In the English Championship this year sits two Welsh clubs, Cardiff and Swansea. The perfect opportunity for Dad and I. With Dad selecting to take over Cardiff, I became the manager of Swansea. As we tried to rebuild both of these clubs across five seasons on Football Manager against each other, and for the first time, in a second tier division. And to say that we found it challenging would be an understatement. It's the first time anybody has ever been sacked in a versus rebuild. Yeah. But it happened today. So. A reminder of the points tally is as follows. You gain one point for a higher league finish, one point for a victory over each other, one point for eliminating each other from a cup competition, three points for a domestic cup win, four points for a domestic league win, five points for a Europa slash Europa conference win, and seven points for the Champions League win. So that two teams that have quite recently actually been in the Premier League. Yeah. Both find themselves in the Skybet Championship. Yeah. And it's a bit of a derby. Wales. Yeah. I mean, Played in an English league. Yeah. <laughs> it is the two highest Welsh teams at the moment out of out of the three, I think, because you've got Wrexham, obviously. Newport as well as another Oh, one. yeah, Newport, yeah. So, I mean, they have got a good support in as well, so I should be interesting. I do wonder whether there is, like, any other leagues around the world where there's, like, multiple clubs from different nations yeah. in that league. Yeah. Because it's just the norm over here. But yeah. I'd imagine for somebody looking in go, hey, yeah. Cardiff, that's not England. <laughs> and I just imagine it being quite bizarre. But hey, over here, it is the norm. Yeah. Um, and Welsh, the Welsh do have their own league. They just don't have the two biggest teams, at least, in there. No. Uh, so you decided to be Cardiff. Any reason? Aaron Ramsey, wasn't Aaron it? Aaron Ramsey, yeah. That was the only reason. <laughs> he looked through all of the squad names and go, I reckon I was one of them. Yeah. I'll, I'll be that team. And I am Swansea. Now, you didn't have any money. No, I didn't have nothing. To begin with. No transfer budget, which meant that you didn't actually bring anybody in you just stuck with the same team as what they had already yeah your tactic for this season you've gone for a four triple two with a pressing forward winger inside forward you've got I, no I had to make support the, roles so i had to make the best of what i actually had so i don't like the support roles boy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's like really unintentional. I you think do, it was. You like tell me oh, that one on attack. Yeah, I'll oh, do that one on attack. And okay. I go, you've done it again. <laughs> yeah, no support rows. <laughs> so that's what your tactic looks like with the best eleven. Yeah, in there. I mean, um, they got Robinson as well, which he is quite good as well. He's so, good. Yeah. yeah, a very good player. Yeah, uh, gets four whenever possible. Five eleven. He's twenty eight, so he can play both sides there. Colin yeah. Grant's another one. Bowler yeah. actually is quite good as well. Actually, yeah. So that I mean, going forward, we're we're quite good. So yeah, NJ at the at the back there. The, what, the NG, right back, yeah. NG, he's, he's a good yeah. uh, youngster. Well, he's not a youngster, he's 27. He looks a youngster, though, doesn't he? He does. He's got a baby face. But um, he? yeah, he's, he's quite good. So I can work with him. Yeah. Collins, I think I can work with at the back. Seopis is a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was my midfielder, wasn't he? So yeah. um, there's a couple of good players that I can work with, and hopefully just bring in a couple now and again and just help them out. So. All right. Well, you've got a lot of long players in here. Yeah, so my only worry point. for you is that if you don't go up, you're going to have to replace all of them. Yeah. It's a lot of players to replace as well. Isn't exactly. It? So. Especially in your first 11. Yeah. Now, speaking of lone players, I didn't have a lot of money either. And what I brought in was one free transfer and two loanies. So the free transfer is Stefan Ilsanker, uh, Austrian 34-year-old centre defensive midfielder, just to give me numbers in there, really. I don't think he would start many games, but ex-Frankfurt player, of course. And for you bingo card users, favourite team in Germany. <laughs> uh, so Ilsanker has joined the club on a freebie. And then I've got two lone sign-ins. Gerald Quantz is one that we've used quite regularly in the championship yeah. for loans because he's good in those first couple of years uh, and he's very tall and could jump and reach so he's good from set pieces. Obviously he's played some games for Liverpool in real life now so you might be aware of him but the 20 year old centre defender is a long signing for me and Sakamoto as well so this right winger I think gives us a little bit of uh, strength in depth but we got him from Coventry so we've loaned him from people a... as well good squad player exactly so uh, we've got we got a player from our own division on loan now I've gone for something different and you think well Luke you've loaned a right winger and then you're not even playing him right wing. You ain't got it right wing. Uh, I was messing around with different tactics because I was getting nothing going, was I? No. This was awful. So I actually think I played this the last game and I still didn't do very well. Now, my best 11 looks like this. And I tried. I, do you know what? I was getting bored of doing four at the backs. <laughs> and then we had a team where we had more than two really good center backs. Not amazing full backs. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go three at the back. I'm going to try and work with that instead. You do like the support roles, don't you? I do like support roles. They're very good. 
Let me know in the comments. Do you <laughs> like support roles or not? Are you against them like Dad is? Dad Dad thinks he's like, ah. But no, I quite enjoy them, to be honest. Well, um, like in one of the other videos, you said it, it's, it's down to me a treat in it. It's, uh, yeah. I'm either going forward or I'm going back. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I've got Joe Allen, so yeah. uh, recognisable face He's a good player, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of players, actually. Ryan Yates is a good player as yeah. well. Uh, good striker. And they just brought in this guy. Mikola Kukharvarich, who's a Ukrainian. But actually, it doesn't say like what they brought him in for. It's very like weird. It's like, oh, you've got him now. And it's like, where's where's the transfer info? Yeah. There's nothing there. He's come in. He looks quite good as well, although he hasn't scored a goal for me yet. So let's have a look at my schedule first. Uh, yes, it's not been great. I've won two games. You think, oh, you've won two. Yeah, they're in the cup. <laughs> um, I won nothing in the league, and I've only drawn two games with Coventry and Birmingham. Matt Grimes getting a couple there. Jerry Yates scoring a goal there. Lost to West Brom, lost to Preston, lost to Bristol City. In the next game, it's Cardiff. So, not looking good. And for you eagle eye viewers, Cardiff are in third place. So, Dad, you must be having a good time. Yeah. And that's because you've won a lot of games. In yeah. fact, you've only lost one. Mm. Against right, last one, yeah. Town. Which is a, a 90 for us minute as well. So yeah. I was gutted to lose that one. But yeah. it's not a bad result at, at it, which when you know it's which way they are at the moment. So they had a good side come up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you beat Leeds, who yeah. just come down. That so was a hell of a result for my first game. That's a cracking result. Yeah. Uh, beat Portsmouth and Coventry in the Cup. So you're also in the third round. You got Port Vale as well. So you, you could even go into the quarterfinals. Yeah. There. QPR battered them 6 0. Leicester. It's never a good result. 2-1 yeah. at Leicester, 95th minute winner. And then this one was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're true to Sheffield Wednesday, who don't have the best team in the league uh, compared to the likes of Leicester and Leeds, who you've already beaten. So you've had a cracking start. Yeah, I've had an awful start, one. Yeah. So we could have two leagues apart from us <laughs> in this first season of the very first versus rebuild in Wales. And in a different division. We've never done a versus rebuild where we had a promotion. No. So we're not going to change any of the points for it. It's literally just going to be a case like it was on Race to the Prem. If you're in the league above, you're guaranteed to get an extra point just for the sake of being higher in the league. We're not going to overcomplicate it with other points as much as like a lot of you would probably want that. If we did, you guys complain about some of the points tallies we've already got anyway. So <laughs> let's, just, let's just leave it as it is uh, and we'll just work with it. So first season, let's get underway. Who takes the early advantage? First season, and I pulled it back. Where did you come from? <laughs> so I actually finished in the playoffs. Yeah. 86 points, and look at that recovery. Yeah. Look at that. As soon as I left. You were top. You I went top. top. I actually threw it away. So that tactic you changed to the last game was, was good then. Yeah. I mean, it didn't work in the last game. No. <laughs> but I was back up to second at one point into the playoffs. I mean, I was messing around with different three at the backs for yeah. a while. But there was we, only a couple of instructions. That is something that we have noticed when we do change our tactics, doesn't it? It, it does take a two or three games God, yeah. to settle. Yeah, for the familiarity to yeah. I mean, you weren't too far off, Dad. You had 79 points, so you were seven points My end of season there. done me. Look, look you at my end of season. End of the se oh, I yeah. had a good one. I only lost the last game, which would probably be in the playoffs anyway. So uh, let's have a look at the playoffs. In the semi-finals, I knocked out Leeds. Ooh. Or did I? No, I was knocked out by Leeds. 6-5. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I yeah. seen the five and I was like, oh, I must have got to the playoff final. I didn't. Uh, it was Leeds-Leicester in the playoff final. And Leeds go up. So, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. What? 30 goals? He didn't score up anything <laughs> at the start of the season. There you go. See, the nothing. Ta the tactic worked for him. Wow. Uh, I've got a couple of players there in the average rating as well. Jamie Patterson's in there with the, the highest amount of assists, joint the highest amount of assists. In the end, it was a great season. How did I do over the season then? Because with that last couple of games I lost. Well, nobody cares, Dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> competitions, we're not expecting to win the Cups there, so we can skip straight to uh, to see how Dad got on. So across the season, the go past positions... Uh, where, where you were top when we left it, yeah. you were down to third there, wasn't it? That's oh, no. where we left. The that, last game. That end of the switch. season didn't do much for me anyway, so I, no. I didn't lose it really, did I? Uh, you were in the playoffs every now and then. Yeah. You were in the playoffs there in match day 42 out of 46. So with four games remaining, it was in your hands. Yeah. And, now, uh, and then you you drew to Millwall, lost to Southampton, and that was yeah, game finished. over. Then you yeah. drew uh, two games at the end of the season, 2-2. Two, two. Whereas, obviously, I, so I had bad, a miraculous man. climb yeah. up to there. So You nearly chucked it away. Well, you did chuck it away. Really, yeah, I did, did chuck yeah. it away. We, we traded yeah. places a few times there in the playoff spot, which I bet was quite entertaining <laughs> for the fans. But that was one point to me. The other point is determined by results between us. Yeah. Obviously, unless you've won the FA Cup or something. 
which you haven't, which would have been miraculous in this league. Fourth round by Bristol City, third round by Port Vale for you. Schedule there. I mean, Norwich grows up as champions. Be interested to see how we got on against them. Oh my God, you battered me. Oh, get in. 8-2 at Swansea Stadium. I'll tell you what, look at the goals I scored. 73rd, 76, 86, 96 goals. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just folded, didn't you? Yeah. At half time, we all got drunk, I think. <laughs> that is mental. So that's one point back to you. Uh, you lost to Plymouth there and beat them after that one. So Norwich lost 5-1 and 6-1. So it was bad against Norwich. Run run, didn't they? Yes, right. Okay. 5-2. Redeemed. 5-2 yeah. at your place. Couple of late goals as well. So that's another point for me. That's 2-1 so far in the first season. We're all good. Now, goals-wise for you, we've got 25 goals from Ugbo, but again... He's on loan. He's on loan. Yeah. So right. he's going back. He's pacey as well. Uh, Mete, who got 22 though, so you still got him at your club. Bit of a beast. Bit of a bit of a strong powerhouse with a le nice left foot as well. Callum Robinson only got 11. Yeah, disappointed with that. Yeah. And you're trying to budget for next season just short of a million which is hard in this league yeah because anybody if you're buying a player who's good is a million yeah so it's either yeah. free transfers or loans really yeah uh let's have a look at the swans though what have we got here so 36 in total from Mikhailo, who Mikhailo, sorry who's that's incredible. Jerry Yates got 25. And that's a great season for him too. And uh, Jamie Patterson, who looked like majority of the season was playing as defensive winger, got 12 and 16 assists. That's good, really. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, my trans budget for next season, less than you. Cool. So it's going to be very hard. We're going to have Our to use are not the... Uh, us, not they? No. <laughs> I mean, it'd be interesting. Finances, I've got 16 million in the bank of 100% transfer revenue. Debts and loans of about 18 million. Whereas yourself, Dad, you've got 16 million in the bank as well. Debts and loans, 76 million. So I'm a little bit more worse off than what yeah. you are. So. Um, I think I kind of expected it to be like that. Yeah. Kind of, we had a bit of a worse one. I so imagine their wage bill is a little bit higher, I would have thought. Yeah, probably. especially with the likes of Ramsey yeah. and stuff. But we've both got 100% of the transfer revenue made. So if we do sell a player, we get all of that money to take into consideration as well. But I guess we're going to be using the free transfer market. Yeah. All right. <laughs> season two. Let's see what happens. Okay, Dad. Second season. You sold one player here for 450k total. Yeah. Doesn't give you that much money, though, because as we know, as soon as wages start eating into it. Yeah. You ain't going to get any. Other. No. Now, you've got a few free transfers here. Bowler coming in, who's a good right back for you. Yeah, I'm I just needed a def uh, strength for my defence up, so this is where I started. Yeah, uh, we've got Johnson Clark Harris. Yeah, uh, from Peterborough, bit who of a, bit of a beast up front, I think. So yeah, that's has everything gone for him. but pace. Yeah, I well, that. Still that's what I've, pace. I've took a I've took a chance on that really. I know he didn't have the pace, but he had everything else I needed. Yeah, so. a good finisher of the ball, good yeah. heading as well. Omar Rekic from Arsenal, good centre back. Yeah, solid twenty two. Uh, Max Lowe from Sheffield United. There's your left back, so yep. you've pretty much got one in each position. Yeah. And Lucas Bergstrom, you need the backup goalkeeper yeah so just hopefully strengthen the whole of the defense up really and, and with a reserve keeper in there so yeah uh, best i could do really your tactic for this season is this yeah i've just so, gone a little bit more defensive i think yeah and i've put in a couple of um support roles you have indeed <laughs> funny that isn't it uh now this is your best 11 as we're looking at we already yeah. had it in there so you've got bowler as the so really you're quite attacking down that right hand side and you've got a wide target forward and i think that is a versus rebuild first i don't think we've ever seen <laughs> a wide target forward nope. so that's pretty special uh and look at you using wide midfielders and everything i remember the first time you put like a playmaker and i was like oh my weird okay and you were like i don't like your reaction uh i'll have a wide <laughs> midfielder instead i was like okay uh so you've got that in your midfield as well let's have a look and see what i've done now we're about to play each other to give it away a little bit we didn't save it at the end and then when we loaded it through uh we are just about to play each other so i think we checked we haven't signed anybody else after this point no but i did sell someone for 5.25 million pound pedersen has gone he's a center back who also played left back he was 30 and i got five million pound for him yeah, it's good. It's not I think. bad. Yeah, you got to take advantage when you get a price like that. In. Yeah. So I allowed myself to spend a little bit of money, £1.7 million on an attacking midfielder. Gets forward whenever possible. Good agility in behind the striker, who could be quite deadly, to be fair. He's a very good championship player. He's only 22 as well. So he's got an assist so far in two games. It's not too bad. I've never seen him before, but there we go. Jamal Assels. I've got him on a free from Newcastle. Good he's leader. A good player, yeah. Oliver Norwood. Again, quite good, actually. A, a very experienced player. Yep. Mika Birath, who is coming through Arsenal's Youth Academy. He, I've seen him become amazing. I've also seen him become terrible. Yeah. So 
Let's see which one we get. <laughs> Ian Poveda, who's a winger, plays on the right-hand side. Uh, then I've got Jamal Lowe, plays on the left-hand side or up front. To be fair, he's natural on the right as well. Uh, and then Rory Wilson is a lone striker who got good pace, good finishing and first touch. Can't really do much else, but that 14 composure uh, with a bit of pace, hopefully in the championship, can be quite deadly. Yeah. Uh, my tactic, I have changed it ever so slightly, and this is my best 11. No, it isn't. Ryan Yates goes in there, but we all know we kind of need that man in there because he scored a lot of goals last season. I'm sure with just having the two up front, they'll be chopping and changing, uh, and they'll score some goals. I am surprised that Jamela Sells doesn't go in, and also, which doesn't get shown, is I extended the loan of Jarrell Quanza. Uh, for another season so after a really really good season for me last year he comes back in so i've got two wide center backs on defender ball playing defender in the middle half back norward so we could kind of have a back four at some points grimes has got the the ability to go forward and then we got this attacking five up here which can hopefully cause a little bit of trouble and i'm on attack mentality i'm really going for it now we've only played two games before that one in the cup as well i drew four all with sheffield tonight who's just come down from the Premier League and I scored in the 95th minute to get that equaliser as well to save myself from losing the game and QPR I won 5-2 away from home and I'm against Mansfield I won on penalties which is a little bit risky but there we go uh, now Cardiff as you can see we're about to play each other we had a little bit of a different result here you, yeah. you beat Bristol City great start to the season yeah I was pleased with that but then you lost to Burnley in the cup well it's the ex-Premier League side yeah, so I, I want to worried about that one and it's the cup yeah, we're in the championship get it out of the way yeah we're focusing on the yeah. league really aren't we but this one dad oh I got tanked then didn't I yeah absolutely tanked so a bit worried now not great against Coventry <laughs> um, but alright the scores are still quite close of course only 2-1 can one of us get through the championship season with a promotion let's find out after we hear from Manscaped Roses are red, violets are blue. Trim your balls, and your date will thank me too. Fellas, it's Valentine's Day, and you know that Manscaped have the remedy for the biggest cock block in the world, hygiene. Because the all new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra is designed to elevate your grooming game to the next level and help you shine like the heartthrob that you are. And old Lukey here can get you 20% off and free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and all you have to do is use code OMEGA. Including the hero of Valentine's Day, the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra, the electric trimmer with skin safe technology guarding your Valentine's Day treasures against any grooming in mishaps. It's waterproof too, making the shower shaves a breeze. That's not all that the love doctor ordered though, because the full package also comes with the weed whacker, so you can finally get rid of that nose and ear hair that your partner screams at. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Daniel. Get it trimmed. And to lock down that happy ending on the day of romance, Manscaped also have the refined cologne, the perfect final touch to your Valentine's Day surprise. Now, for all of you bearded kings, Manscaped has got you covered as well. Because the Beard Hedger Pro Kit is by far the best beard trimmer I've owned with the adjustable guard with 20 different trimming sizes. So head to manscaped.com and pick up anything that you need immediately because time is running out. But remember, when you do head to manscaped.com, you use the code OMEGA to get yourself 20% off and free shipping. And I'll leave the link at the top of the description. Good luck, fellas. Season number two. Ooh. Come on. You had a chance as well. Yeah. Because you were in that promotion playoff spot. I almost won the bloody league. Yeah. One point Unlucky. away. One point. And that man got 26 points. And when you look again. at it, you think it's which won it quite easy because they only lost eight games compared to your 11, but they were drawing games as well. Yeah, so. I won more. Yeah. I won more. So I, I finished second all the way through, to be fair. So it wasn't like I was chopping and changing. Lost in the playoff final, Dad. Sunderland in the playoff final. Got it. Absolutely got it. In the semi-final there, you knocked out Birmingham. Uh, Sunderland knocked out Leicester in there. So still no Leicester in the Premier League. No. After two seasons, considering how much they're dominating this year. But there we go. Ipswich promotion with Swansea. I had 127 goals. That was a lot of goals. Yeah. My goal difference was mental. 40, well, 48, which means I conceded so many goals. If you look, 79 goals, find a team that's got <laughs> conceded 79. You'd have to go all the way down to 14th <laughs> before you found a team who's conceded Charlton. as many as I did with Charlton. But there we go. We, we played some uh, exciting football, I guess. And we had the top scorer of the league. You had the third top scorer of Clark Harris with 21. So that's yeah, a good signing for you. Please that. Uh, Roy Wilson got the highest average rating and that man I spent a little bit of money on as well. Uh, and Matt Grimes got the most assists. And he also 
also got 15 there too. So, surprisingly, I didn't get enough clean sheet. No. <laughs> I am promoted to the Premier League. Did I win anything else? No. Third round by Bournemouth. Second round by Bristol City. Now, again, we haven't added any points for getting promotion but i got a point for also being higher than dad in the league and i'll guarantee the point to get that next season while he's still in the championship and i'm in the premier league even if i finish in 20th spot uh, which i really hope that doesn't happen but there we go now dad did you win any cups before we check the league fixtures against each other no no although you did get to the quarter final by liverpool yeah just unfortunate really to get Liverpool but then again when you look at the teams that's there I could have got Bradford or, or um, oh, Blackburn imagine if you got Bradford in the yeah. quarter final where well, it goes though wouldn't it yeah the semi-final was then played by Liverpool Man City or won by them and Man City won in the final okay I lost it at the end of the season I was yeah, first you dropped second. off your th third all the oh, way through third, yeah, so I was right behind you yeah for a long period of time then and I then just lost it then I was lucky to be in the playoffs in the end really yeah, dropped off quite a lot oh my god 7-0 in April. We're having some games against each other, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a bad month for you. Yeah. That's where it dropped off for you. That is huge. And then, obviously, the uh, playoff is here. So, where we mentioned you nearly threw it away, from basically the, the Bristol City game, that's probably where you were about third. Yeah. And then you had an awful no, time well, and didn't point. win. For one point month. in a whole month. Yeah. And you didn't even score in that game. You only uh, scored one goal. Clark Harris is your only goal scorer in the whole month of April. That's really so that, poor. That, that one month cost me the whole season, really. Cost you promotion, I think. Yeah. I could have, I mean, if I'd won some of those games, I might have even been second, second yeah. here with you. Yeah, absolutely. So that's another point for me. Should have been a lot yeah, more because I beat yeah. you 7-0. But the earlier game in the season, you beat me 3-2. Get in there's another 2-1 victory there for across the season for yeah. me, but that's annoying because although I get an extended gap, I can't capitalise on it other than getting that one point without winning a trophy next that's year. That's right, yeah. That's fine. Let's have a look at the points. Well, actually, before we have a look at the points, goals-wise, Clark Harris got 23 for you with no assists. Very greedy. <laughs> uh, 18 from your wide target forward there and 15 for Callum Robinson. In the championship next season, Dad, you have... Oh, dear... 500k, half a mil. <laughs> They're not supporting me at all, are they? No. Uh, so that's going to be a struggle. However, for Swansea, promotion. 26 goals from Mikaela. We got 18 and 16 from Michael. Jerry Yates got 18 and 17. Matt Grimes had a great season there. So did Jamal Lowe. And my transfer budget for the Premier League. All right. I was hoping it would be close to the 40, but 29 I will take. Not a lot of wages in there. So it's no. kind of like once I give the wages, it's going to be about 20. Yeah. So it's not really a lot, to be honest. Well, I mean, I would say you're probably going to sell three, maybe four players as well. Not for a lot of money. Well, no, I know you're not going to make a lot of money, but you, are, you could probably make up six or seven million out mm. of the four or five players that you should be able to sell. There's no then, wanted signs either. No, that's a problem, isn't it? So <laughs> you kind of need other clubs to be involved. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll have to go forward and have a look to see what we do in this summer window. But before we do, the season points are as followed. Omega Luke with another two points. Omega Dad with another one point, meaning the total points is Omega Luke with four. Omega Dad with two. Dad, you managed to sell a player for £10 million who you yeah. got on a free the season before. Good, good business, really. I mean, when Ipswich came in asking for him, I thought, I can't turn that down. Yeah. That's going to help me buy at least three players. So Absolutely. It gives you, gives you a bit of a, some cash to actually spend money instead yeah. of just going for the free transfers. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So you started off spending it on a good goalkeeper I in Marek tell you what, I thought I would have done well getting this keeper for 1.4 million he's such a good keeper as well for that he is decent yeah absolutely so that's a good start to begin with because like, you sold a couple of other players around here for like less than half a million or half a million so it gives, just gives you extra money to yeah. add uh, as well as obviously losing some players on free transfers to free up their wages. And you spent another £2.9 million for the rest of the summer, but the majority of that was on Matt Clark from Middlesbrough, a good yeah. centre-back. Well, I needed to just strengthen up a little bit more. So I um, bought this guy in, good good, uh, good centre-back. And he's left-footed too. So, yeah, so that helped as well. Very, yeah. very, you can find these these players in it sometimes with the left-sided. Yeah, then you brought in Jonathan Panzo, yeah. who, of course, is also left-footed. Left -footed, yeah, but he also covers my left, yeah, my left back as well. Back. So he's, he's good to have... Both, both players cover as well, you know? Yeah. Uh, you, of course, had him on loan two seasons before from yeah. Nottingham Forest. So uh, it's a good signing. He was very good for you in that year. So bringing him back on a free transfer on a permanent deal, yeah. that's not bad. And his value, of course, is quite high already. So at 24, yeah, it's worth bringing him in. Absolutely. James Bree for the right-hand side. I thought this was a good signing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Good sign. I was pleased when I got this guy. 230k. Yeah. 
Nice haircut, though. <laughs> What's going on there? Uh, and then we've got Omari Kellyman on loan. Yeah, I just wanted to strengthen up a little bit up the up the front end. So um, I do like this guy, so I got him in. Gives you options. Yeah. He is injured at the minute for a couple of weeks, but never mind. And Caden Edwards from Brentford on loan again. Yeah. Likes to beat the other side trap. Good pace, acceleration. Another one just out me up, up front again. So Yeah, he's fast yeah. too. So he hasn't got any goals for you yet, but he did get eight goals in just 16 games last season in the championship yeah. for, for Birmingham. So yeah, he might might bag you some goals, to be fair. Tactically, you've gone back to the 4 triple 2 with, with supporting. With some support roles. Yeah, so I changed the rules as well with, to, yeah. with support. So, yeah, I just wanted to... I've got better defenders in this time than I did the first season. So I went back to that tactic with better players and um, supporting roles. So I'm hoping it's going to work this time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. OK, uh, hopefully you don't have a tail off at the end of the last season either. Oh, no, that's what's doing me at the moment, isn't it? But I, I, to be honest with the two midfield guys I think I've got in there are really good. So I reckon this is a good team. How long do you think Ramsey's got? He's 34 oh, no. now. His natural fitness yeah, and stamina's not he's really not going great. down in it. So I think this is probably his last season. Yeah, yeah I'd yeah, imagine I, so I think too. I've definitely got to get someone in next season. Yeah. See, Pierce is all right. He's, he's still got some to go. Yeah, he's got I'll great this guy. Yeah. So schedule so far for you this season. It's looking very good, Yeah, Dad. I was pleased with the way it started. I mean, Bournemouth, the only game I've lost is Bournemouth. And that's in the cup yeah so first round of the cup was against bristol city 4-1 5-2 against bournemouth there good start of the season 3-0 yeah 2-1 against preston the only dropped points that you've had in the league is a 1-1 draw to hull yeah and that was a rescue you got the yeah. 83rd minute goal there but some big wins against birmingham and millwall kelly man even got a hat trick in that one too yeah, good one done good yeah. long signing and uh, then you defeated stoke at stoke 2-1 yeah always pleased to beat stoke I yeah. have to pinch an old manager at Plymouth. Can you do it on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon at the Britannia? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not even called it, that anymore, in, is it? In the winter, it could be absolutely freezing yeah. there, couldn't it? It don't work as well when it's the Bet365 no, Stadium. No, I just don't. Can you do it on a Tuesday night at the Bet365 Stadium? No, you think, uh, no. It's Britannia. The Britannia to us, isn't it? So, of course, you won't be playing me this season, Dad, unless no. we meet in the FA Cup, because you're already out of the first round, or the second round, sorry, of the EFL Cup. But... What have I done in the summer window? Now, I spent quite a lot of money, and I also sold £27 million. Uh, the only player that was at, wanted when we left at the end of last season was my goalkeeper, Andrew Fisher, and I thought, I ain't going to sell him. He's quite a good goalkeeper. And then Al Nasir came in for £15 million, and I was like, okay, I'm going to sell him. <laughs> <laughs> that happened in June, but the transfer went through on the 1st of July there, as you can see. And Al Etihad also come in for Ben Cabango. Again, didn't want to sell him because he's a good centre-back and he was Welsh. And then I couldn't reject £8 million. So I was like, oh, okay. No, you can't. Of course you can't. So that allowed me to bring in quite a lot of money, yeah. uh, as well as the money I already had. So Joe Ariba was the first signing I made from Nottingham Forest. £3.4 million. Good midfielder, good attacking midfielder. Premier League experience. Uh, George Morgan was a loan signing that I've got from Everton. So he's got some great attributes and I do have a optional future fee of 16 million should I wish to activate it. I could have just gone for him and I thought, I need to be smart here. Yeah. It could be terrible for me. Yeah, so that's right, yeah. let's try before I buy and get that uh, to get that optional future fee in there. Mason Holgate though, 7.5 million pound. Good defender, plays without of trouble, good pace, stat, uh, stamina and strength, etc. So yeah, I mean, I played a lot more than what Sheffield United did last season, but this was in the championship and he only actually played 16 games there. I think it was a January transfer as well. So just six months later and I signed him for 7.5 million pound. But he's got Premier League football, so he's probably not complaining. Hayden Hackney from Middlesbrough, 7.5 million pound. That strengthens my midfield up, gives me an option in two natural positions as well doesn't really have like a weakness maybe jump and reach but in centre mid I'm not too worried about no. jump and reach no. uh, he's a decent Premier League standard of football and he's got a bit of potential because he's only 23 then we got Sergio Gomez from Manchester City left sided player he was just play a few times, didn't we? Yeah, I don't know whether I prefer him on the left wing or left back, to be honest. I bought him as a left back, but then he plays more uh, on that left wing. Because I don't think I can stick with the three at the back in the Premier League. No. After how many I conceded. I wouldn't have thought so. Conceded 79 goals. <laughs> yeah. and going, this is a tactic for me <laughs> in the Premier League. No. So I bought... All right. And then I got Issa Kabore, who's Man City's other fullback that they didn't want to have. So I bought him in as well. Not amazing, if I'm honest, but I was really struggling for options he would want to sign for me. And I think when you get promoted into the Premier League, there's like a, a weird curve of time where team or players, sorry, are like, no, I don't want to come to you because you're not in the Premier League. And then it like cuts off that you're in the Premier League. And then it's like, they either go, all right, I'll give you a chance. Or it's like, no, nah, you need to establish yourself. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's very frustrating time. But this was Barking of the Century. More like, Sealer, who had like three years left on his contract. I got him for 
98k. You couldn't believe this, could you? No. And he's like four star in regards to ability in my team. A great attacking midfielder for 98k. I, I don't know. I mean, last season he got nine goals and four assists for uh, Aruka, which is in the the Portuguese top division. He's got one goal for me already in the Premier League with a seven average rating. This is unbelievable signing, so I'll take it. This is great. Never heard of him before, but he popped up on my uh, on my scouting list. Jamie Cumming from Chelsea is a good backup goalkeeper for me right now. Could have been a starter, but I went for Freddie Woodman two days later from Preston. He's not an amazing goalkeeper, but again... He's average on everything, yeah. which is good, really. It's just trying to find somebody who would... yeah you know, want to come to the club. He's good enough for the Premier League, though. And for our standard, he's good enough. But this was probably my best signing outside of the, the bargain uh, in terms of how good the player is. Jacob Rasmussen from Bromby. And I always find when you go up into the divisions of, like, getting promoted or you're a lower Premier League team to start off with or even in other European leagues, having a look at the Norwegian and the Danish leagues is your best friend yeah because you can pick up players like this because this guy i think is really good he's left-sided he just lacks a bit of pace everything else you could get away with he's 28 six million pound from bromby he's had a couple of good seasons there uh, with seven average ratings he's got a 6.7 for he's starting off in the premier league when we're probably getting battered at the start of the season <laughs> so it's not his fault he has been a rather block by the way yeah i mean that is a lot of transfers 16 million pounds worth of different transfers there and he's been in all different countries as well, well experienced like, didn't he really yeah i think what's weirder is i oh, know he did start off in denmark i thought he started off in, in schalke and i was like he's danish and he didn't play <laughs> for denmark until he got here but he, he did start at OB. Actually, he started even further back. So, Rasmussen is going to be a starting centre-back. And then my final sign-in, who was not interested in coming to me until the 13th of July, when he... Your birthday, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so, your birthday present was Ooh. a signing for me. Yeah. Andre Anderson, Brazilian, 25 years of age, used to play for Lazio, gets into opposition area. Really good going forward as an attacking midfielder. Got a goal for me already in the Premier League after three appearances from Lazio. And my tactic looks like this. I've gone for the four, triple two narrow yeah just trying to be hard to beat got a half back in there so if i did do best 11 we've still got grimes who can play that role quite well hayden hackney goes in the volante on support joe Aribo and silla up there so the actual free signing of andre anderson doesn't go into the side but i think that tells you how good silla is for 98k really gomez i was playing in a left-sided formation where it was out like that and he was playing left wing and then I brought them in, and now obviously there's no position for him, so he can go left back for me, which is good. I've gone attacking, it's bold, but when you go into the Premier League and you start messing around as the worst team, trying to be cautious and defensive, don't you're work. just asking to get battered. Yeah, don't worry. I found that I don't know when I went defensive in, in the Premier League, I just got battered. Yeah, this tactic was basically built in the last couple of games which did all right against Crystal Palace 4-0. However, the start of the season, I've kind of been a bit unchallenged. Premier League was 3-1 against Tottenham Forest, but they're kind of like a team that's up and down. I lost to Ipswich, who just came up with us, 91st minute. I changed then to have a different formation, where it was narrow, beat Exeter in the cup. Cup. Scalp. Uh, rivals <laughs> Plymouth and then we beat Crystal Palace 4-0 so that tells me Palace have been in the Premier League the whole time that we've started this versus rebuild so it's good it must be good yeah so hopefully fingers crossed we can stay in this division third season I'm slightly ahead of dad on points 4-2 I'm guaranteed to get a point in the next season for being higher but can he catch up can he get into the Premier League let's find out Third season and I survived. Well done. In 14th place. Got a little bit... I think you got to take that. ...risky around the yeah. end of the season. Yeah. I was hovering around 16th there, around with Aston Villa. But at the start of the season, I did drop in... I didn't actually drop into the relegation zone once. Look at that. That's yeah. amazing. So we're good. Wolves actually went down with Fulham and Brentford. Three big teams to go I'm down. Surprised. I'm surprised there with um, Villa and Brighton below you. Yeah. <laughs> That's something yeah. the bigger surprise. And you think all the promoted teams. And look how well Ipswich it's finished done. Ninth. Yeah, well done. Just Ipswich. outside European yeah. spots. They were only One point. five points behind Tottenham. Mental. Uh, it goes to show how good that result, that last result of yours, Crystal Palace, look where they finished. Sixth. Yeah, in Europa League yeah. spots. Did exceptionally well. Uh, one by Manchester City. If we have a look at the player statistics, all we've got is yellow cards. <laughs> of course we did. Of course we did. So there we go. So 
a survive good first season, another I think. season. Good first season, that, Absolutely. I think. Absolutely. Uh, let's have a look. Did I win a cup? I don't think so, because we'd have seen it next to the club name. Quarter final by Crystal oh, Palace. Oh, they got their own back on you. <laughs> Third round by Everton. Now, we don't know whether we played against each other. If we have, obviously, that would be extra points. Yeah. But we can find that when we look at Dad's fixtures and results. We'll just quickly look at the goals were. So I've got 14 there from Mikhailo. And then that is it. George yeah, you, Morgan only got 12. So You're lucky to survive, really. But one, one person on 14 goals yeah. really in your team, that's not very high at all, is it? Not at all. So I've got a £16 million pound buyout on George Morgan. I don't know whether I... It, it, it all depends whether I find somebody who I think is going to be better. Yeah. Because that's a lot of money, £16 million, and I've only been given 37. 20 if you buy him, just really. Just short of half. Yeah. Goes on one player that I already had in the team, mm. and the wages are not there. So it over half, yeah. if you look at it in that regard for wages. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have to find like a bit of a bargain um, instead. Or again, go for another lone player. All right, Dad, let's have a look at Cardiff. How did you get on this season? Oh, fourth. And not promoted. Got in the playoffs again. Semi-final loss to Bristol City, who went on and got themselves promoted, who beat Leeds in the final at Wembley. 3-1. The second game finished nil nil. There or thereabouts, I am, and I how did I finish the season? Eighty nine points. You had a good end oh, of the season. I had a good end of the season, yeah, because the last two is, is the playoffs, isn't it? Yeah. So you won those three because you beat Leeds. Yeah. Then you beat Burnley and Southampton. So Leeds were above you in third place, but there must have been like a period of time in the middle where you had like a bad bad time there because if you're beating Leeds towards the end of the season and then yeah. obviously not being able to overtake them. Josh Sargent got twenty six goals. You ain't got any players in there, just yellow cards. <laughs> Let's have a look at past positions then. So past positions. So you were top for a little bit there. Second for major second for I'd say about fifty percent of the season. Because you've got a period at the time at the start. Yeah. Three periods there, long, four periods. Long period there. there. Then lost it and then couldn't couldn't recover from it. Yeah. So you should have been finishing in second place. This these couple of results here. Uh, has done you so a loss to Leicester who finished in second and then a loss to Sheffield United who finished in 13th yeah so those were a couple of really bad results that cost you your season really because the, the rest of it is quite spread out there was that period of time there which lost you the season yeah you bad, bad month again yeah March and April is not 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 good friends for you is it no nope. because you look really solid like this it's, it's good consistency because the trouble is of the championship you're gonna lose quite often because yeah it's oh, such a hard league such an hard league yeah and you got some good team I mean Norwich Norwich are a really good team in that league again Leicester are a good team in that league again so I'm gonna look there I'll beat Norwich 2-1 last yeah. season they hammered me both times yeah they? yeah beat so, both 6-0 yeah at home park we know how hard that is. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you know, you, you went quite... It, I think the thing is for the championship is never to get back-to-back -back losses. And you might be in with a shout of promotion. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And you only had that a couple of times. You had a little period there where you got back to 7-0 with those two teams yeah but uh, then I, I recovered quite good you recovered after that you quite, quite quite well fourth round by Chelsea in the FA Cup there yeah so you've got uh, you so that was a good month really day. because I only drew a game and won the rest of the league games yeah and that was in the FA Cup third round yeah so you won all the championship games yeah and you only had back to backs here which cost you the season yeah competitions then so it was second round by Bournemouth fourth round by Chelsea so we did not play each other there's another season dad down in the championship for you goals wise 23 from johnson clark harris 15 from caden edwards or kayan edwards so you might see if you can get him back 15 goals is quite a lot and he's yeah. got better compared to what he was last season so maybe and your trans budget for the fourth season is just short of a million uh, it's not with the wage thing is it yeah it's not a lot of wages at all so yeah you i mean to, to get to the playoff it. two seasons in a row you need the board to stop backing you then just to have that finishing so touch on you and they're not they're not backing me at all are they so no. i'm i am really struggling here now working with miracles yeah unfortunately. i mean you, it, it's very rare you get a team that can do it consistently over the seasons to get into the playoffs yeah it's usually usually because of the player movements as well you usually drop off and then start building again to come back in yeah. again, don't they? So. <clears throat> Absolutely. Let's have a look at the points tally before we go into season number four. Quite an easy one. The season points is Omega Luke with one, Omega Dad with zero, which means the total points, Omega Luke five, Omega Dad with two. Dad, you need this to be a big year for you to salvage this. Cause... Yeah, well, like, like I just said in the other, video, the, the other season, you start be, be rebuilding again, really, didn't you? Yeah. So I've, I've got rid of a couple of players. For good money, I thought. I mean, all right, I did say Robinson's a good player, but I think it was coming to the end of his time now. So well, he didn't really do a lot no, for you, he did, did he? Did considering he? the no. games that you played him. Yeah. Uh, so he's gone for £2.7 million, which in the championship is a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. You can get a couple of good players for that. Uh, but this one was the good one as well. We sold him to the same club, so I smell some uh, fishy <laughs> things going on yeah. here. I mean, uh, I had another right back that I bought in, so I was quite happy to let this one go. 
So yeah. So let's have a look, see what you've done with the money, because you spent ten point five million pounds. Now yep. this is the only signs that you made on this page here. So you've got Mateta coming in from Crystal Palace. Yeah, so I'm just with. strengthened up my, my strike force now. I'm going for a, a stronger strike force. Premier League proven as well. Yeah. Elias Chair from QPR. Yep, another attacking player, so just getting them in. I'm, I'm making my squad bigger as well because one of the things we did notice when it was my squad was very small. Yeah, not in terms of height, <laughs> in terms of depth. <laughs> yeah, we've got Manning here who plays on the left hand just side. Just strengthening my, my squad up really, and he is a good left back as well. So. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, then we've got Marcus Fors, which was a July signing. There was a good striker, yeah. which he spent seven million pounds. Yeah, on Marcus Fors. Well, I, I was actually coming of his name now. I was trying to get rid of the old guy, one with, with the tattoos on his face and all that. Johnson Clark. Yeah. Right. I was trying to get rid of him, but no one would buy him, would they? No. And, I, and I wanted to strengthen it because he is very slow. Yeah. So uh, I was getting someone who was a bit, bit quicker, a bit younger, and um, hopefully it would work for me. Yeah. And in the end, I kept the kept that guy as my reserve striker, really. So. Yeah. I mean, he was scoring a lot of goals in the championship, 15 in the last season for Middlesbrough, and he's already got four in six for you. So yeah. it proves that he is a good player, and, yeah. and especially for this league. And then we used the loan market. Yeah, I was quite pleased with this. So Omari Kellyman come back. He's got better from yeah. last season when you used him well two seasons ago sorry because he went to Preston last season but yeah he went oh no it was the How same many... season he actually got called back so yeah. he's gone back to Preston you've got and he scored eight there. goals for me while he was there yeah so yeah, then we've got well. three players all from Premier League clubs Alan Souza from Manchester City yeah and he's a good centre midfielder or centre attack midfielder and you're starting to learn how to use the money yeah in <laughs> yeah. terms yeah. of the loans <laughs> now because I was not helping but I was explaining to you. Yeah, that was the thing, really. I, the I monthly knew, payment. Yeah, I, I knew how, how it worked, but just not properly. It was the the figures at the bottom, wasn't it? That, that sort of I had to make them up. Yeah, and that's where I was going wrong, wasn't it? Yeah, and how much it takes actually takes out of your transfer budget yeah. because people just think, oh, I pay them a monthly fee like easy but it actually comes out of your transfer budget yeah so when you put it across okay that transfer that loan is going to cost you one million pound it's mm. like oh, okay i can do that yeah and i the, don't mind doing that the other thing you have got to be a little bit careful with people who, who this is the first time you've, you've tried it as well with loan signings is go down further and see what positions they want you to play that player in as well because if you move the player out of that position yeah they're going to charge you more oh mari kellyman as well is a prime example if that if you just do it and then don't play him in that role they get record halfway through the season yeah because he scored eight goals in 21 games had a great average rating for you last season yeah and was record because you weren't playing him in the specific this, role yeah, that they, they wanted, wanted to play to. yeah uh, whereas now again preferred position amc as a shadow striker they want you to play him in that role yeah. or actually have to pay him a lot more money or sometimes they just outright reject it yeah but these two i think are your best ones belich from chelsea yeah i was really pleased with this signing i mean 25 year old as well so he's well experienced player as well good yeah. one to get in i think fantastic center midfielder yeah. really good from chelsea so has played some premier league football he's already got three assists for you in six games on a long fee of just 675k for total Across the season yeah so you think less than a million pound you get in for a season yeah happy days and then this one Mihailo Illich from Everton 1.3 million pound total that's not bad but it's the most that you spent but he's a very good center yeah definitely yeah. so I was really strengthened it up for me now absolutely so I feel I feel now I've, I have built a bigger squad and a stronger squad yeah so let's have a look at your tactic for next season. It's changed just ever so slightly. Yeah, well, you've the, the moved players, somebody into the shadow striker. Yeah, the players that I've brought in, I, I had to put him into the shadow striker for didn't I? Like you yeah. said, so. Uh, and as you and can see, Kellyman goes straight in there. Yeah. So Clark Harrison Edwards is still up front because you extended Kayon Edwards' deal. So Marcus Force, even though you spent all that money, doesn't naturally go in that no, position. No. He's going to have to force his way in there. Yeah. Kellyman, Belich, Siopis is still in the side. Rekic and Illich is going to be your new back two or back centre backs. Manning and Bree there in the full back role with Rodak in goal. Your schedule for this season is looking quite nice. You beat Stoke at the start of the season again at the Bet365 Stadium. Yep. This time it was a, a, a lovely Saturday, so Saturday August again. 1st. Yeah, lovely. Uh, Best time of the year to Bet365 go there. Stadium. Yeah, don't go there on a rainy night. No. You know what will happen. Uh, they'll just all of a sudden, even though it's like years later, they still have Rory Fa Rory, Rory Delap. What's it, Rory Fallon? Yeah. They still have Rory Delap. Up and Peter Crouch. Yeah, like, they do. They. It's just. It's a Tuesday <laughs> night. Is it Stoke? Uh, Rory Delap comes out. Yeah. Like, what? Where's he come from? Port Vale. You lost them on penalties. Disappointed with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Robbie Williams's team. Yeah. Did you know Port Vale's not a place? Yeah, it's the only team in, in the football league that's not an actual town. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Because hashtag United when they were. 
going into semi-professional footballer, the FA said, no, you've got to change your name because hashtag's not a place. You haven't got a, you haven't got a designated location. So Spencer FC, shout out to Spencer. I'm sure he watches. Absolute legend. I love him. Yeah. He was the owner of hashtag said, okay, can you tell me where Port Vale is? <laughs> and they were like, oh. well, it's what Robbie Williams supports. Um, no, you can. <laughs> Don't have a location that's called Port Vale. It's just the name of the club. So there's, there's a little Unlucky. fact to you about Port Vale. <laughs> uh, Watford 5-2 against them. Good win. Yep. Drew to Portsmouth 0-0. All right. They're always going to be tricky. It was at Portsmouth as well, so you got yeah. to take that, yeah. Southampton 2-1. That's, that's a good, good win. Yeah. Luton, who I think this might be one of the first years that they've come down. Yeah. Or they come down, went back up, come back down again. I can't remember. Uh, but you beat them 2-0 at their stadium. And then Peterborough 4-2 with Johnson Clark Harris scoring against his former club. Yeah. Good result there. Started well. Absolutely. You've got some trickier games coming up because you've got all three relegated sides from yeah. that season in September. So that's <laughs> that one where we say... Don't lose two on the bounce. No. you got to do something about that. That's going to be tricky. Let's have a look to see how what I'm doing in the Premier League whilst uh, Dad is trying to get into the Premier League because I have spent some money. However, I'm not entirely happy with this, this season. Uh, I sold Mikhailo for £15.25 million. They didn't really give me a lot of money, if I'm honest, and I didn't really manage to sell anybody else out, outside of Mikhailo. So the players that I brought in do improve the side. I don't know. I, I think I might struggle here. Alex Vell from Barcelona is a very good left back good young left back I made the signing and then I thought oh, I reckon I spent way too much on the left back yeah, yeah. but he's incredibly good uh, I mean his values there so you, you know you could you could uh, cash in on him the yeah. following season if, yeah. if he has a good season so. in the championship <laughs> <laughs> Iguinaldo from Shakhtar Donetsk, 8.5 million pounds. A player I've never signed before, but he likes to beat the offside track. Got good pace, good composure, and good off the ball. Uh, 14 for finishing. When you look at him, you think there's something wrong. It's the first, first touch. touch. Yeah, he's, I'm trying to think of that Liverpool player that always bad had a real bad first touch. He used to play up front. That's Darwin Nunez. He still no, plays for them. No, yeah. Now, you're thinking of when Romelu Lukaku had a Man United shirt on. Well, it was him as, him as well. Yeah, his yeah. first touch was bad as well, yeah. wasn't it? So, yeah. So, he's up there. Uh, and th I think it's weird. Like, when you see, like, strikers, you have, like, a pattern of where you want the attributes to be. And there's just something that's off with it. And it is the first touch. So that needs to be... Uh, you've got you to play the ball through for him, for him to be running onto it. So, he just hits strikes it ball first, first time. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what he needs. We could train him to do that, to be yeah. fair. But he's Brazilian. We, we love Brazilians. our Brazilians. Yeah. yeah, he's got one goal in four for me so far he's got 12 and 18 for Shakhtar last season so for 8 million pounds that's a bargain if you when you me. see his record of 12 and 18 games you think Yo, I've got a good striker here yeah Kesper Tobias which is a great goalkeeper he's going to be my new number one in the net there so that's a good one and Patrick Berg one of my uh, all time favourite CDMs that I always like to pick up across many different football managers great mental attributes really solid and good physicals with that 18 for natural fitness and 15 for stamina yeah I mean I've got a couple of other players here I've got a free transferring Andreas Muller from Dams, uh, Darmstadt. Uh, quite a good player to be fair. Gives me options in that centre mid. And then finally, I sign Edward Chulufa uh, from Midtjylland for £5 million. Plays naturally on both wings. He is fast. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, doesn't have the best mental attributes, but he's he's quite quick. Got good technique and good and dribbling got a good first ability. Touch. And he's got a right first touch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Uh, he is right-footed, so if you do play him on the left, perfect for a winger, I guess. £5 million. Didn't have a great season last season in terms of output but a really high average rating and he's continued that yeah look at that four games one goal two assists one play match and a 7.72 average rating which is phenomenal in the premier league when you're swansea and you're playing quite terrible <laughs> um because we've only won one game in the premier league so far that was against leicester who's only just been promoted sergio gomez got one got two sorry one was a penalty edward naldo managed to pick up a goal as well but a loss to aston villa lost to crystal palace and drew again to ipswich i cannot beat ipswich for some reason no. uh, but i did knock Sutton united out of the cup unlucky son okay it's fourth season dad really needs to get promoted if he wants to catch up yeah. else in that fifth season it's almost game over yeah definitely you're yeah. not going to be able to win anything i just need a i need i need on. to get in the in the in the uh, premier league and beat you both times just get two points back there and hopefully win something as well then really absolutely so season number yeah. four let's see what happens well <laughs> <laughs> I think I lose by default. <laughs> quack, quack. Oops. I got sacked, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, so, not the best of seasons. Sacked as manager of Swansea due to the club's poor league position. 
And if we look at their league position, they finish in 20th place. And their new manager, Ange Postacoglu. Hey. <laughs> Who I've heard is not very good anyway. Um, so if you go by managers, I was sacked in February. Ooh. Yeah. Not great. So my three-year stint, get them into the Premier League. I'm gone. I mean, they didn't even get. They didn't. Well, that's like from February. They, they didn't still didn't get relegated, though, did they? So, no. so 29 points, which is not staggeringly bad. They have five points uh, behind staying up. Oh, they, got, they did get relegated then. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're oh, right. 20th. Along Sorry, with I'll, Ipswich and Bristol City. When, I, when, I, when they, they got took over by the new manager, I thought they got. I thought they. You know. no, I'm telling you, he's a terrible manager, <laughs> Ange Postacoglu. Although it does look like Tottenham won the Europa League oh, this year. Let's get in. Without Ange Postacoglu. Instead, it was Sergio Consensal, who's so always very good on You this. got sacked. Spurs won something for a change. All I need now for the Bruce Ball is for me to win the, Premier, uh, win the Championship, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, I think from. We've never had a sack in a versus rebuild. It's very rare we've ever had a sack in a tall in a yeah. rebuild. I think it's only happened twice. And I don't think I can take a win getting sacked. So I think, as from now, if we ever get sacked, there's no point putting it on the points page. It should be a minus 10. Because unless you are 10 points clear, which means you are battering the other person, and then you get sacked, I don't think you should be winning. No, definitely not. Seeing so, you seen you're the one who got sacked... No, definitely not. So unless you're <laughs> sacked. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, because we haven't checked yet. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Oh, dear. <laughs> we, unless you're sacked. So I just need to survive then, really. <laughs> yeah, so let's have a look at past positions because we knew I was sacked at the start of February. Oh, Christ. I mean, I was doing right until that was Boxing Day where I drew one all with Manchester United. Yeah, see, all your boys went out and had a good Christmas time and all that. <laughs> and they didn't recover from that. They absolutely <laughs> ruined it. Lost to Sunderland, uh, lost to Palace again, lost to Ipswich. I was on a bad run. Bristol City there. It's so not as though did... you were losing against the top teams neither, no. were you? Drew there to Brighton and then the loss there to Nottingham Forest was the game I got sacked in, I think, because I think it was the very start of February. So, yeah, that's, that's awkward. What I do, I'm quite curious. I wonder whether I had a bad transfer window. No, I don't like they sold anybody in the uh, January injuries? transfer window. Did you have injuries? Possibly. It could have been possible that there was a really bad injury record. I can't remember if I can see that without being manager anymore. No, I don't <laughs> I don't know whether I can. Uh, so maybe they had really bad injuries. Yeah. And Postacoglu will be the manager of Swansea in the championship next season. Will he be facing Omega Dad, though? Come on, just survive Let's now. Let's have a look. You are the manager oh, and your champions. 99 points. So, no, you will not be playing. And Postacoglu, Swansea. I was there all season as well, look. You were. You dropped down to second at one point, but you popped back up into first place. There was never any doubt you were going to be promoted this season. Brentford were six points behind you, which in the championships, nothing, by no. the way. So, oh, they, yeah, they no. did very well. And yeah. Quite unlucky not to get automatic promotion or promotion at all because Burnley got it with a lot less points than what they yeah, did. That's how it happens, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, what I do find funny is the player you tried to sell, Johnson Clark yeah. Harris, with your top scorer <laughs> yeah, he, with 20 <laughs> goals I just give I just put my arm around him and said right go out there and prove me wrong son yeah and he did he did yeah uh, I wouldn't like to mess with him though he no. looks hard as nails <laughs> yeah he does doesn't he? he yeah he looks like somebody that, or he like, probably put his arm around me and said oh you want to sell me yeah no no, no. <laughs> please Johnson <laughs> yeah. we think you're really good <laughs> yeah so Johnson Clark Harris will be playing for dad in the Premier League next season <laughs> that is confirmed okay so great season for you dad did you top it off with a cup no you didn't fourth round by Tottenham <laughs> <laughs> Just, at least they went on and won. Yeah. <laughs> Did they? No. Because Did they, win they, they won the Europa League. I don't think they won. Oh, that. right. Man United won that. Oh, Man City. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. At least they went on and won. Well, I knew they won something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was my team that went on and won. That's even funnier. That that played out perfectly. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you've won by the versus rebuild by default, but there's still one season left. Yeah, and I'd like you to do that season. All right. Because if you do get sacked, that's another ten minus ten points, oh, and that's I unfair. win. That's so, so I just got to. I just got to avoid then. getting sacked in that fifth oh, and final season. No. Uh, so twenty goals for Johnson Clark Harris, which was the top scorer. Mateta got seventeen. Transfer budget. Thirty million well, pounds. They finally put it around in their pocket then. Yeah, with a cracking wage budget yeah, as well. Yeah, so that I makes add. it a little bit more really. Yeah. So Premier League money, you've got it. Can you save your job and still win the versus rebuild? Because <laughs> there is one season left. I can't believe I got sacked in season four. That is mental. But it's given me an opportunity. I guess it's a win. <laughs> okay. Did you win that one? Did you? Yeah, you also got sacked. In, but I still won technically. Yeah. So I mean, the scores ended. On 5-2. 
Yeah. Minus five for me now because of the minus ten points. So I was three points behind. So all I had to do was finish above you and beat you both games if yeah. you were still in the Premier League. Yeah, but I've already got a point for finishing higher. Oh, yeah. Which I don't, I'm not giving myself no. even though we got sacked because yeah. I didn't make it to the end of the season. If I had played all 38 games and then was sacked, I would have given myself a point yeah. for finishing higher than you, but I didn't. I only made February. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so season number five. Dad's got it all to do. I've just got to survive. You've got to survive. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Now, Dad spent the su the start of the summer anyway, unable to sign anybody. Yeah. I, I mean, at the beginning of the summer, we always go straight into the freebies, see who's available, contracts will expire, and, and yep. I went to that, went to sign a player, and they stopped it straight away and because of this consortium taking over. So for a few weeks, I couldn't sign anybody. So all the best freebies had gone, weren't they? By yeah. the time I was allowed to go back. Uh, which was a failed takeover, which is even more annoying because then it meant nothing and you don't get any extra money. No. Because if it's a tycoon, you're like, yeah, I'll happily wait. Yeah, yeah, you've got to give me the funds to buy the players. Yeah. There was a while where you couldn't bring in any players uh, even free transfers, but you still managed to get a couple over the yeah. line. Starting off with a Welsh defender in Chris yeah. Metham. I was pleased with this one. Yeah, he's a good player from yeah. Leicester he was at at the time as well. Joe Perrault, who is a former Swansea player. Yeah. It's turned to the dark side. Mm. Scum. Good striker, though. Started off well. Look, two and two, two, and two with a 7.85 average rating. So yeah, he started really well for me. So I was pleased with this signing he as well. He got 17 last season yeah. in the championship too. So Joe Perrault, good striker. No allegiances to Swansea. And no. I think that is absolutely outrageous. Yeah. Although they sacked me. So well done, Joe. <laughs> yeah. uh, Han Noah Masengo from Burnley. That's a good signing. Yeah. I'm really sort of strengthening the squad up really because I had to get better players into the squad so that's yeah. what I'm going to try and do now strengthen the squad up and strengthen my midfield up I felt but I had, I had to do because obviously um, Ramsey was uh, he, he retired two seasons yeah. ago didn't he yeah. I was surprised with this one because you spent so much money on him I did but I just thought he was so good so um, that's why I went for him really, and I, and I managed to get him as well. So he plays in the, you know, he plays in the two positions, but right in that midfield, I think I think you need you really good your best players there. Oh, 100 percent. He's Premier in League. the engine room. Yeah, uh, and he is almost like good at everything other than strength and tackling. Yeah. So I mean, because there's so many 14s in there, it's yeah. unbelievable. So the Mexican Marcel Ruiz, who you picked up from Leeds, who they only actually signed for the season before in the Championship, a 6.25 million. I mean, he started off well for me, though. Yeah. Goal and assist in yeah. the Premier League. Nineteen million pound though is a lot when you've just been promoted. But hey, let's see what happens. Fortu, who is from Egypt. We don't really sign a lot of players from Zamalek and no. players like that. M mainly because they do have like quite a price to them, considering yeah. and they're hard because like here you go, you've had to you couldn't get a work permit, so yeah. you've had to give them the ECS one. Uh, a the good ESC left back one. Though. Yeah, very good left back. Yeah. Gr great pace, goes forward whenever possible. So that's just exactly what you want to see and has the option to play in the wing back role. Belich from Chelsea, who you had was, a long I last season. I was pleased with this sign. Over two point five million, I thought this was a hell of a sign. When you think how much he's valued already. Yeah. Forty games last season yeah. for you, five assists. Didn't let me down. Yeah, so we've got him on a free transfer. Well, not a free transfer. Two point five million pound almost feels like free, doesn't it? Yeah. Then you went to Viking again when we mentioned earlier. You go to these Scandinavian clubs. You can pick up some bargains, and I think this one is just like that. Yeah. Centre mid can play centre attacking midfielder as well. Yeah. Twenty six. Good squad so player for me. One million. What I bought him in for. Yeah. Then we've got Pathé Cease, free transfer. So yeah. one of those ones which crop up. Plays so the two positions again, so I'm really strengthening my midfield in case I get any injuries, which I yeah. think you've got to do in the Premier League. You can't afford to get one player injured and not have another player just as good to replace him. I agree. Then you got a couple of loan signings near the end of the window, Andrea Papetti being the first from Newcastle, paying £2.2 .2 million in total yeah. for a cracking centre-back. Good centre-back, yeah. And he's an Italian defender. We yeah. all know they're I'll the let, best. Yeah, I'll let my Italian defenders know. Geronimo Russo <laughs> from Arsenal. Argentinian, 22 years of age, centre attacking midfielder. This is a long sign in. He's Great good. Passing. He's good, though. Oh, he's good at passing, but you just can't see anybody. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Uh, got a goal already in two games. I've definitely got a better squad. Probably a. a, a well, I know I've got a better starting 11, but I'm just hoping it's strong enough for that Premier League. Yeah. Definitely got to change my tactic, though, I think. Well, you changed it to a diamond because you yeah. were playing very. Well, you changed. Change it to something, and then you ended by going, no, I need to play a diamond. Yeah. So you went for that instead. We got box to box I think in the middle. Because of the, the players that I've bought in, I've bought in quite a lot of midfield players then. Yeah. So I just felt that I just needed to, to get all of them in because they were all good midfield players. Pack it out a bit. Yeah, definitely. So and I, with this formation, I, I managed to do it then. 
Yeah, absolutely. So we've got Mateta and Piro up front. Bree is still in that right-hand side there. You've got a mixture of what you had in the championship with Rekic and Rodak yeah. still there. Bree, of course, but then you've obviously added to the players that you had there uh, with some better talent. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you don't get sacked. I really hope he does. Uh, still balanced mentality. Schedule-wise for this season... 4-3 against Bournemouth. It was a great start to the oh, season. I was with that when I started that. 92nd yeah. minute winner yeah, as well. Take that. Lost to Arsenal, unfortunately. Which, you take that, really. I mean, Arsenal are a good side, <laughs> and it's only 2-1. So I think, yeah. that's a good start, really. Even they, though my right-back scored the only goal. So. Yeah, but then you got stuffed by Fulham. Yeah. That's... <laughs> there so you go. that ain't great. You, no. did, you were down to 10 men. Yeah, I don't know, it? But you were also 1-0 down already yeah. before that. So can't use that as an excuse either. Brighton, you beat them in the Cup 3-2. They were just relegated, I think. But then look at this. <laughs> oh, I celebrated with you. I was in the stands going, yeah, scum. No, 95th minute. 95th well. minute, yeah. They welcomed Not me back. Not of the Cup. They wouldn't even let me in the ground. <laughs> they knew exactly what was going to go on. But anyway, they got beat. So sorry, Swansea, but I hate you now. Uh, Aston Villa, though, you beat them 3-1. Yes, that's a good win. Yeah, absolutely. Although I was celebrating when you beat Swansea, I do hope you get sacked because then it means i win <laughs> across the versus rebuild but ultimately what a fail that failure this rebuild has been it took you four seasons to get promoted yeah i got sacked in it again it's the first time anybody has ever been sacked in a versus rebuild yeah but it happened today so we, 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 we struggled don't we really? i hope you so... enjoy us struggling a little <laughs> bit if you like the ones where we struggle a bit then by all means, let us know. But the versus rebuilds that we do are very much like that. We've been struggling in the race to the Prem. You, yeah. had, you had some bad struggles in that one, oh, didn't you? Oh, they're not just, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, Glory Hunter. I think we're going to go into a period of struggle now. Oh, 100%. Because we don't have a lot of options left. You, and both of us have the one trophy, which is the hardest to get in Glory Hunter, yeah. Europa League left. You're hunting for teams now. Well, you're, you're waiting for a team to sack their manager that's half decent side that you can take over in the right league that yeah. you need to be in. Yeah. So that's you know it's it's, it's it's getting to that stage. It's getting. I, I mean, I've said in a couple of the messages. This is where the fun starts. I yeah. think we've kind of barreled our way through a few of the leagues. Yeah. Now it's come down to the nitty gritty. It's very close. If you haven't checked out Glory Hunter, I'll leave the first episode at the end of this season. But please, please, please give it a watch. If you love these, you can enjoy that even more. Oh, yeah, a little brilliant. bit more uh, faster pace, but each episode is roughly twenty to thirty minutes long. They fly by. Yeah. You'll absolutely love it. Right. Final season, Dad. For the on. points. And I make a loop with minus five. <laughs> and I make a Dad with two. Which, even with that, it's the lowest. Even if it was, no, it was five be, two, it's, it's the lowest be. one we've ever had. Yeah, it's the lowest yeah. points tally we've ever had. <laughs> Let's see whether Dad can get sacked or not in this fifth and final season. Well, Dad, you didn't. Survived. I Dragged. survived. Fifteenth <laughs> place. I mean, I was highest my first. I was ten points above relegation, so yeah, you survived. I was quite all right, nice, really. To be fair, you did all right. B minus. So you weren't even close to getting sacked. No. The supporters are overall supporters are pleased with the job you were doing. Yeah, I kept them in the league. They were happy with that. Yeah. Beat, Did, beat Swansea, knocked Swansea out of the cup, so they were definitely happy with that. Yeah. Didn't, they? didn't offer me a job, though, which I thought was a little bit scummy <laughs> of you. All right, but fair enough. In the cups, third round by Derby County, fourth round by Newcastle, unfortunately. Let's have a look at that Premier League stand-in. So 15th place. Didn't have anybody in there other than the yellow cards again. But the past positions, I mean, you were all right for a lot of the season. You dropped into relegation zone once yeah. at the start start of December Pulled got right your way it. right back out of it with that 4-1 win against West Ham and then you can just continue then and, and, and save yourself you got as high there as 13th place of course at the start of the season you're up to 9th but yeah you, you are quite safe to be honest yeah. you you survived quite nicely really you didn't have any any troubles which I'm happy, with that. happy with that yeah uh, in this final season then 14 goals from Joe Perot is not a lot at all I think that was the, the problem that I've had through the whole five seasons I never actually got a goalkeeper a goal scorer in to get me into the twenties, yeah, no, you didn't. And, and right. to two seasons, I got I lost in the in the playoffs. That's the reason why. Yeah, you need you need a, a goal scorer at least one to be in the twenties. Yeah, and your second one to be very close. If I you agree. get two in the twenties, you'll win that league. The yeah, cha the championship, I think. Yeah, I so. agree. Uh, so that was good. And if anybody wants to take over the save game file, for the love of me, I don't know why you'd want it. <laughs> we really struggled and not oh, enjoyed right. playing as Cardiff. How much transfer they giving the me money. for next season? You've got thirty-six so, million pounds. Same again. So, but yeah, yeah it's. I mean, they've been tough, and it. That's yeah. that's the hardest one we've done team-wise in versus rebuild. Yeah. 
Um, absolutely. I mean, besides that, all I got sacked in it. So. <laughs> so I will put the save game file for Patreon members or channel members. Remember, there is also a podcast in there as well. So you don't just get save game files. We do a weekly podcast. We talk about stuff in football. We kind of like want to know what else you want to see from it, really. Whether you want extra videos that like Q and A's and stuff like that. Yeah. If there's anything that you do want to see, then by all means. Well, at the moment, we're, we're the just waiting for something to happen, aren't we? I mean, yeah, we've every been week. Fortunate recently. We, we especially with the, the manager situation sometimes you do run out of something to speak about don't you really yeah. so be interested if you know you guys want us to speak about anything really yeah so. by all means let us know down in the comments section of course if you want to come along to my wrestling i'll put the link there in tcw that is the 9th of march is down in saltash which is just outside of plymouth please come down and watch if you can or if you can only donate because you can't make it to the venue then please do the donations instead because we got £600 for a very good hospital charity that we're really excited to be working with yeah. and being able to raise money to affect a lot of people's lives. So that's amazing. Dad's going to be there. I'm going to be wrestling on the card. A lot of the matches have been announced already. We've got former NXT UK Tate Mayfair's there, who's been insane right now on the indie scene as well. He's wrestling uh, at my old foe. He was my first rival, Toby St. John. I had yeah. many matches against him. He started off as just the cameraman, and I picked a fight with him, and I lost. <laughs> so, anyway, but me and my tag partner are wrestling a couple of wrestlers. We are going to be good guys for once, and I'm excited. So, if you can make it to the show, then please do. But there's other shows. We've got Radstock coming up as well, if you're anywhere near there. Uh, and I can't remember the other places. We've got loads of other places that just message me. If you want to come to wrestling, I'm sure I'll be wrestling there soon. So thank you very much for watching. Check out Glory Hunter. It's on the screen right now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.